Our, our next speaker, who has been appropriately or inappropriately insulted, Harry Flynn, <laughs> will now defend himself. Harry, the gloves are off. Thank we you. should peel epiretinal membranes, and you are against it. Thank you. I'd like to thank the organizing committee for the opportunity to discuss this topic, and I'd like uh, Colin to come to Miami and do a fellowship so we could teach him how to do things properly. <laughs> here, here is a patient that we see often in our practice. They come in with minimal visual loss, and they're doing just fine. The typical patient is in their 70s or 80s. So what does the American Academy of Ophthalmology Preferred Practice Plan say? It says patients should be informed that the majority of idiopathic epiretinal membranes will remain relatively stable and do not require therapy. That means surgery, Colin. The decision to intervene surgically in patients with ERM and VMT usually depends upon the severity of symptoms, especially the impact on their daily uh, activities of life. There's one large study of 201 eyes uh, published uh, in 2018, and overall, 13% uh, of eyes progressed to the point of needing surgery by seven years. So only a minority of patients will progress to needing surgery. Here's an example, a 72-year-old with idiopathic membrane, 2025, and by two years of follow-up, still 2025 visual acuity. Another patient with 2030 at baseline and 2030 at 15 months. And finally, a patient with 2040 visual acuity at baseline and at two years of follow-up is 2020 because of cataract surgery. So in a study coming up uh, in press, in clinical ophthalmology, a series of 108 eyes with idiopathic epiretinal membranes and 2030 or better visual acuity the mean visual acuity at baseline was 2025 and remained 2025 at 17 months of follow-up. Only 8.3% actually worsened by two or more lines during this follow-up period. So a decision-making for surgery on the left, observation has a low rate of progression, no complications, especially important for the monocular patient and the patient with no complaints about their quality of life. For surgery, Tell patients there will be only a modest visual improvement. They will probably still have residual metamorphopsia. You face all the issues of cataract, retinal detachment, macular hole, endophthalmitis, et cetera. Special considerations are for patients with on anticoagulants and patients that are burdened by multiple follow-up visits in these patients undergoing surgery. So I will conclude by saying that eyes with epiretinal membrane and good vision are often stable and can be safely observed. Consider the impact of patients' daily activities and not just the appearance of the OCT. Cataract surgery is often a good first step. Colin, I'll be happy to uh, show some patients to you that have long-term follow-up in my clinic. Thank you. Excellent.